this is really pretty. There's a clap clap. Oh, she has little like pirouettes and dance moves. Oh, there she goes. Head pads. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Oh, it's Machiavelli. Wait, can you get free Bambinata from this event? I am. Friends and gamers, I'm recording this at like 11 o'clock at night, but it had to be done now because I keep putting this off and literally, I just had to do, I had to do this now. Okay, we're gonna look at the left unsaid patch today and everything that comes with it. I feel like I know significantly less about this patch than the previous one because the previous one we got a live stream. No live stream this time around. And I'm a couple of days late because this patch released originally on my birthday and then I was giving it an extra day like I usually do with PGR patches because the new character trial and stuff like that doesn't start until the following day of the patch, the first full day, so it would be the 10th. And um, I was celebrating my birthday, so we're late, but it's been an entire weekend and we're finally gonna dig into this patch. I know, I feel like nothing going into this patch. I don't even know how to pull for the character to be completely honest. Oh wait, this is really pretty. <gasps> oh, wow. That's really cool, actually. Okay, even like the screen here looks a little bit less packed than we've gotten in the past. So let's start digging into this. I'm going in the bottom corner because the those things haven't opened yet. So we're going to start here. So first off, we have the character trial dialogues with an existentialist. I didn't know. I didn't know Bambadada was an existentialist, but that sounds kind of fun. <laughs> that actually sounds really fun. Left Unsaid is a floating record. I feel like if I click it, I'm going to go into something, but it is permanent it looks like because there's no date i'm not entirely sure what floating record is though there's a coding trial for the new rosetta coding that runs from the beginning of the patch so it is currently open until december 11th at the same forgot to mention same difference the character trial for bambinata runs until december 8th so it looks like this patch is going to be ending on the 12th because over here we have our material stages house of hope runs from beginning of the patch to December 12th. We have Operation Uniframe, beginning of the patch to the 7th of December. And then what I'm covering down here at the bottom, we have a dance in the park, which is an adventure stage, runs from 11-16, so November 16th until December 4th. And Circuit Connect, like that, what was mentioned, that was brought up in the thing, runs from November 23rd to December 11th. This is a shorter patch, definitely much shorter. Even me recording it now, it only runs for 27 more days, which I'm recording this on the 13th of November. So I'm like three, four days behind. So this patch is only about a month long, 30-ish days, which usually patches run about 40. So there's about a 10 day difference there, it seems like, but that's not entirely unusual. PGR has had shorter patches in the past. They're just usually a little bit longer from what I've noticed. But at the same time, this patch is a lot lighter than some other patches, so it makes sense and it's fine. I guess there was not a new chapter released, like a new story update for Bambinata, which is probably why this version is also a little bit shorter because there is no main story update, it seems like. Floating Record, I believe, might be an event story. I feel like I'm gonna click on Floating Record and see what happens event record it's an event record 27 days left on that it's available the entire length of the patch i believe there was also one of these event record things for pull out and that i did go through the entirety of that so we probably will be doing the same thing with bambinata i am I, i'm curious i want to go see what it looks like on the battle screen just because it's er3 limited access so that is not a permanent event i take that back it is not permanent it's not listed under event records it's listing as floating re it's listed as a floating record, but it does say ER3, which is an event record. But I do wonder how we got to ER3, because if I'm not mistaken, the one for Pulau was either ER0 or ER1. So I don't know how we got to three, because I don't think I missed that much PGR content. I feel like I've been pretty up to date. So I'm like, how did we get to three? <laughs> I feel like I have to go pull up my own footage from the pull out event record wasn't an event record am i going insane i feel like i have to go pull out my own footage to see like what it was labeled as because how did we get to er3 like i would get two where <laughs> what am i missing you only get that pretty animation the first time so fun that i had that on camera anyways we're gonna do the trial for bambinata we're gonna do the trial for rosetta's coding and we will do the material stage and probably should 
try Operation Uniframe, even though I hate it. But we're going to start with the Dialogues with an Existentialist character trial. It also does say, Mirror, Mirror, Tell Me, is the doll pretty or plain? And there is little bits of text all around here. I'm going to see if I can read them. Under Left Unsaid, it says, Is she downright empty and has no need to remain? Would she find a clear lead? Would she marry a gentle beast? Clap, clap. There was a clap, clap. For Rosetta's trial, would she marry a gentle and it's cut off? Or could she achieve? Cut off. Nothing under House of Hope. Operation Uniframe, it says, Woe is she, woe is she. The broken doll is no longer needed. Under a dance in the park, she eventually finds the secret key. Stops thinking and feeling, repeated twice, and then that's it. So I do wonder what that is relevant to. I'm assuming it's re relevant to this floating record, which I'm actually really excited to get into that. But I'm gonna have to be quick with that one because this is a shorter patch and I don't want to miss that because this seems really intriguing. I actually didn't think I'd be able to kind of dig into Bebenata's story as much as it looks like I will be able to because I'm still behind on the main story. And so any main story updates, I don't really get to like do yet, but I do get to do this, which looks quite fun. So. Let's get into our character trial. I'm going to stay in this corner for now because I do feel like I am. Uh, I feel, think we have to read stuff on the side, but we have our tutorial stages to begin with an interpretation of, I have no idea what that says. Dawson? Uh, maybe? I don't know what that. Ah. All right, let's uh, tutorial mode for Bemanana. There she is. Looks like she is an ice type construct. I did get that correct before. I did not note down if she, like, ooh. Dance look at like her! Puppets. Dance like puppets. Well, I mean, she's got that whole thing going on, doesn't she? Alright, Salika, what do you got for me? What's the face? I'm naturally one who knows the Bambinata better than anyone else. From Vanessa, I don't really know who that is yet. It's time to start. So, Bambinata is able to deal a chain of physical damage with kicks and threat attacks. So, let's start that, I guess? Oh, she has little, like, pirouettes and dance moves. Oh, wait, that's really cute. Okay, actually, I want to take a better look at this. So, one, there is strings. I want to see her attack string because I have some dance training, so I want to actually see what it looks like. Fine, fine, I'm doing it. She does do a little pirouette in there, which is the spinny thing. That's what the spin is called. Kind of basic. So when red orbs are pinged, Bambinata will step forward and hurl a large number of threads to deal damage to enemies within a small area. So that's what this is. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. <laughs> when blue orbs are pinged, Bambinata will leap into the air and perform two spinning attacks to deal damage. Cute. Okay, there she goes. And then yellow orbs, Bambinata will swiftly, swiftly guide, glide. I can't read. This is what happens when you record a patch review at 11 o'clock at night, I guess. Toward the enemy and slash them to deal damage. So, ooh, I can't wait to like look at that footage back in my own recordings. Oh, she just got launched into the end point. Bambinata. Head pads, I'm so sorry that happened to you. <laughs> Oh, her little character uh, profile photo is really cute, too. She's my daughter now. Must protect. Okay, stage two. Stage two. There we go. <laughs> I didn't know if I was going to pull for her or not, but I kind of want to. Maybe we'll look at, like, recommended team comps for her. So, Bambinata Games should take points for pinging orbs. That is an, a dance thing. I don't know what it means, but I, I, know, I know it's a thing. <laughs> I was a figure skater, guys. I don't know extensive dance lore, but I know enough. Press and hold basic attack to control Bambinata with set their points. Okay. So there, it goes in order of 40, 80, 160, and only goes up to 160. So it only comes from three pings, it looks yes. like, as well. Yeah, it's only from three pings. And then by holding basic attack, when Bambinata is attacked, she will automatically dodge the attack with all set their points. So. And boom! Oh, I missed it. I'm, oh no, I got it, I got it, I got it! So, when dodging, picking orbs will trigger more follow-up damage and amnesia will be additionally activated upon a three ping. I'm not sure what amnesia is yet? Oh, amnesia is when a follow-up move deals a three ping. It forgets orbs of the same color and will only obtain orbs of other colors. Cast a signature move to remember all the colors forgotten. Interesting mechanic there. But then when strings on me is active, which seems like another passive skill with her, I'm also dodging this because I want to actually read. If Bambinata successfully dodges attacks by holding and releasing basic attack, pinging orbs can trigger more follow-up damage. So she doesn't dodge normally, which is a bit strange and I feel like is a weird mechanic to get initially. For that reason, I might use her more as a burst support damage dealer on like a team with someone else. I'm not sure yet. 
Her signature move then, she'll perform enhanced signature based on the number of orb colors she has forgotten. Signature move also returns forgotten signal orbs with recovered colors. It will deal additional ice damage if all colors are forgotten. Seems a little bit similar to how uh, Bianca works. The Bianca we got last patch, I literally forget the name of the frame, but I have her. I literally have her. Uh, how during her ult, she doesn't have any orbs to ping, but then you get pretty much all of them back, more or less uh after the ult ends so and it also does like it accumulates orbs during the ult so have her signature then oh i like her ult i do i actually really like that mechanic i'm gonna be honest maybe we will pull for bebonetta i need to look at like i said i need to look at team comps because i don't really think i have too many oh of course it was satisfactory must protect i don't think i have like an ice a full ice team which is a problem I kind of want to look for a second. Hold on. I know we shouldn't be doing this at 11 o'clock at night, but it's fine. Let me filter by ice. I don't have anyone who's ice. Actually, it might be smart then for me to pull for Bebonetta. I I was pulling for one shit, and I think I was pulling for Chrome last patch. We don't really have too many ice frames, though, so I guess that makes sense. I was planning, and I before, like obviously, I have seven shards on one shit. I have been pulling for him. Maybe I will pull a Bembanada. I feel like that could be helpful to have an ice construct just because I don't. And I didn't realize that until like right now. Here, let's do stage three. I'm pretty sure this is just fight boss, if I'm not mistaken. Also, we're not going to do the challenge stages because I suck at those. And I don't feel like doing them right now because I want to get through the other stuff in the patch. This is a patch review. All right. Oh, it's Machiavelli. Sup? What's up? It's been a minute. I still think he this is such a sick boss. Let's all let, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, I think I got it now. I think I, I realized how to do it. I'm trying to get rid of all these. She just keeps pinging. Fine, I'm ulting. I'm like, I was trying to get rid of all the pings, but there's so many pings. Oh, Machiavelli's over here now. Okay, hi, bestie. I'm over here by you. This is fun. I'm gonna ult. She does talk a lot, if we're being honest. She talks like a lot, a lot, but she's fun very satisfying combat i feel like i talk about that a lot where if a character get up connect but uh like pgr has a lot of really satisfying combat mechanics and the fact that they just move so the movement is very fast and i really like that i like fast movement getting used to her dodge mechanic is a bit much i feel like but i really like fast satisfying combat where you're like boom 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 all the time and so i really like bambinata i think also, like I said, in the other, like the trailer video, this is the closest I'm getting to a figure skater in this game. I'm calling it right now. She's an ice type construct with a dance motif. That's the closest I'm getting. So I might as well take what I can get. Like I might as well, right? <laughs> All right, while we're doing coding or while we're doing trials, let's do the trial for Rosetta's new coding. I think this is such a cool coding. If I had Rosetta, I would consider it. And there's been multiple times where I could have gotten Rosetta. Oh, that's fun. Her little salute. There's been multiple times where I could have gotten her, but chose not to. And I'm going to go back to my usual spot now. All right. But yeah, I'm going to have to... I pull up popped up on my loading screen. Ooh. This is such a cool coding. Really. Sup. I'm ulting because I was going to get hit and I don't want to get hit. I, this is really just boom, boom. Do the, the thing, right? I don't think I've ever played Rosetta since we got the English voiceover. And so I'm just kind of like, wow. Her voice really fit. A lot of the English voices really fit, though. I did a whole video on that. They, and honestly, most of the English voices are really fitting. Even the ones where I originally I was like, I don't think they fit the character. Uh, I've come to love in their own regard. Um, I know one of the ones I said wasn't fitting was Camus. But after doing Kamui's story and realizing they're like the same person, more or less, but we love them. They're, they're bros, they're twins uh, in my mind. <laughs> I'm kidding, not really. But it's the same VA, so I, I get why Kamui didn't sound as similar to like the Japanese voice actor. Like, but yeah, I have a, a love, newfound love for Kamui and Kamui. And I think it's really cool that they use the same VA for both characters in the english dub i appreciated that a lot when i found that out and after i did the story who would have thought doing the story could change your mind about things <laughs> who would have thought you know are we done oh why are you still here dude these coding trials are always so like simple especially rosetta as a character because she's a tank you can just like unga your way through anything with rosetta quite frankly 
So it's just so easy with her. I really should have taken up getting Rosetta. Too late now. That's also such a cool finish animation. Wow, she's so cool. This might be one of her best coatings, if not her best coating. Dang, okay. Now here's the fun part. I have quite a bit that we can use for pulls right now. Um, I'm not close to pity at all, but we could do some pulls. I mean, I've gotten really lucky before. We haven't done our material stages. We looked at everything on this side. So should we do a material stage or should we pull? Let's do material stages. So we have the House of Hope. That is what we are getting. And then the item we are looking for, our currency, is the uniform bow tie to use in the charity shop, which is our fun little shop here. The special light cone is going to be the set for Chen Ji Yuan. And it's a very cool set actually <laughs> the art is really cool actually <laughs> now that i look at it very futuristic it is an ice set it's a really cool set actually i feel like it fits her character design really well too and then her specific bro wait <laughs> wait can you get free bambinata from this event i didn't realize that i did not realize that there's a lot of stuff for the dorms it looks like yeah no this is definitely like dorm stuff which is really cute and then her character specific item like her gift item is going to be this music box it's literally the music box and that's the shop i think this is actually a really good shop this update as well as looks like a very free to play player friendly update considering 30 bembinata shards are available i don't know how many you need to unlock her but let's go check really quickly because i was gonna i was ready to pull i was ready to do it but i don't think i'm gonna need to how many shards do you need to unlock bembinata 30 so you could realistically and this is honestly one that's really realistic in the past they've done free character events where either for like new players returning players or casual players you what have you who aren't at like a super high level like i'm at level 77 i would consider myself more of like a casual low level player M mid tier mid tier probably there's been characters offered for free where it's been a lot harder to try and get them if you're not playing every single day at a high level like 80 or higher and 80 is like the bare minimum i am particularly thinking about the resistativo di fantasia event with selena i did not get her from that event I still don't have her actually uh and i'm talking about um what is it I'm talking, I'm talking about, not talking about this selena the uniframe i'm talking about omniframe selena okay but that you could get her for free from recitativo di fantasia but you had to be playing at a high level and you had to be playing a lot like you it was a little bit harder to get the drops from that event shop but considering you could realistically they're cheap also, the price for the memories is much cheaper than usual. I'm assuming because the patch is shorter. Usually, they like these prices have been going up for the event-specific memory sets. I think last patch, the event-specific memories were like 500 event currencies at least. It might have been more. This one's only 396, which is I think it's like cut in half quite literally. Because I said 500, but honestly, it could have been 600 something, and I would believe you. It was much more expensive. And considering this is a much shorter patch, that makes sense. But there's also the opportunity to get a free Bambinata. And it's entirely doable because 36 event currencies, the bows, 36 bows to get Bambinata. One Bambinata shard. I'm going to do the math right now. <laughs> Basically, you need 1,080 bows. And that is so doable in one of these events. Like, that's it's so doable. Unless the material stages are only dropping like one bow or something let's do these material stages before i start running my mouth and see just about how many we can get this is the bianca i was talking about earlier though this one stigmata i was talking about stigmata all right let's go in but i realistically i don't think you need to pull i would entirely entirely recommend saving this patch unless you get to like the very very i don't know why it's playing my main screen music here but it's a vibe, so I'll take it. I just hope it doesn't get me copyrighted. Because, <laughs> like, I was playing around with my home screen the other day, and I was like, ooh, this music music is a vibe. This one's a vibe. I like this one. The, like, summer music. And um, I don't know if it'll get me DMCA'd or not. Because <laughs> I've, I've had trouble with PGR before. So that was the normal stage. This is where you get more drops. I didn't even check how much it gave me. How much? 63. Literally one run of that first stage gave me enough to get an entire shard. So if I ran this domain like 29 more times 
which I think I have enough stamina to do. We can just get her for free right now. I'm gonna run the uh, this one one time as well, the uh, stage two. This is the one, how I recommend doing it is if you have all the stuff you want from the event shop, do the second stage where you get light cones because then those you can use those light cones as mats to level up other, not light cones. Oh my God, I'm Honkai Star Rail brained. Do the stage to get the memories. <laughs> because then you can use the memories to level up other memories what have you you also can get like six star memories i think every now and then so the drops are good for that stage and if you don't need all the bows just do that but if you're trying to get shop rewards i 200 percent recommend doing the first stage because you get more of the event currency i always recommend that uh that might be a controversial opinion for running these stages but that's how i run them and i've never really had a problem with getting rewards from these event shops so I'm already needing only 27 shards for Bembenata. I super realistically think, and I haven't even been recording for that long. Realistically, I think I could get her right now, and I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I am. I'm 200 gonna try to get her right in this sitting, this one sitting right now. I do think this new stage is a little bit funky in where it sets up characters, because I'm having a lot of like weird. It's just like a small area. And so when Bianca loads in, like I see her shoulder or something like that. But yeah, save this patch, just get her from the shop. And then I don't know what we get next patch. Uh, hopefully it will be a fun character because this is a shorter patch. So we should get something kind of crazy next time, hopefully. But I don't know, we'll see. Definitely, definitely looks like there's been like PGR is continuing with the quality of life stuff, making things a lot easier for new and returning players. And I love that, I really do. All right, that was some stages. <laughs> what do we get from the event shop now? I only need 16 more. We're in it, we are in it now. Let me refresh my stamina, it's gonna expire anyways. Let me in, let me add it. Max level that. Also, just Bianca just kind of makes this really easy. <laughs> like she just makes this a little bit too easy and I'm totally okay with that. Give me my free character. We must protect Bambinata and we will protect her by putting her on the team. Like it seems entirely possible to get both all of the shards for Bambinata in like one sitting if you have enough stamina saved up as well as her memory set will probably take a little bit longer but if you only get four out of the six and do like a recommended split set because usually that's how they run these things they split the set worth four and two you probably like you realistically could get a pretty well built bambinata entirely for free from this event which is kind of insane if you ask me like that is so like it's it's free to play for it player friendly it's new player friendly it's casual player friendly it's returning player it's just so even like the even whales it's like you get to save now look at that i don't need to go back for the charity shop but i did un accidentally <laughs> nine more we can do this this is this is it this is this is the move i'm, I'm going in on getting her set today i'm gonna go more slowly with the memories but i'm more focused on just getting her right now because i do want to see if we can do like a quick build or something like y'all don't have to do it this fast i'm just doing it this fast for the sake of the video overall a good little patch like this is a good nice i didn't do multi-stage clear on that did i <laughs> my bad it's a good little i don't even want to say filler patch but i guess it kind of is a filler patch i'm assuming we'll get something probably kind of insane next patch so it's just kind of a nice little like here you go guys and also to be fair it is this patch is running because the later half of this patch will be during like when Americans get like Thanksgiving break and stuff. So like Circuit Connect is running during like that week of Thanksgiving in, in, for America. So like some people play more games during that time, but usually because I have like family and stuff. I'm usually for me, I, like I feel like during holidays, I don't play as much. So I feel like it, it being a lighter patch, a shorter patch is kind of nice. Yeah, I definitely did not multi-clear that for some reason. Actually, maybe I couldn't have multi-cleared it. Anyways, let's go again. I literally, I have no gripes about this patch. I think it's a really good patch. <laughs> That's it. That's like all I can say about it. This is a really good patch. Just like they thought of everything. And I know that it is like we get patches later on the global servers as opposed to the China server. But like everything about this patch, like timing, content, it's all great. <laughs> Especially for it mostly likely being a filler patch. It just feels so, it's like a good filler patch. Like everything about it just makes sense. Six more, we can do this. 
it just every like like i said everything about this patch makes sense i have nothing negative to say about it at all except for the fact that once i finish all the stuff it might get a little bit boring it's like a month-long patch just wait a couple of days and there'll be new content <laughs> wait a couple of days i think i might be really close to finishing this uh three more okay one more run might be able to get me what i need just yeah one more run should do it because i have 30. one more run should do it let me 60 more stamina should be okay two more runs and then i don't know if i can do a quick build but we'll see what i can do all right that should be it Bembenata comes home no pulls just shards there it is there's the three i can also get some of her uh gift her special gifts but i think personally i probably will save for the limited I think, first of all, I'll go for the memories, but then also I really want this limited furniture set, but that's kind of like, on, like that is high of a priority. All right, let's go unlock Ben Banana. Let's do it. There she is. Unlock. There we go. She's home. All right, let's see what Kuro recommends for her. Okay, it, they also, it looks like they recommend her as a burst DPS. And I was thinking about using her in that way anyways. So I, I, I like that. <laughs> And the difficulty is also higher because she has a diff weird move set. I can see that. I definitely can see that. So recommended team for her is Wansha in Glory Chrome, which makes total sense because that is, I think, one of the only like valid ice teams you could run. I mean, you could put, I think, Plume Lucia's ice type, but this makes more sense in my brain. And then the recommended equipment is obviously you have the two weapons, the six star and the five star and both sets recommend a four-piece Jiyuan set and a two-piece Darwin set. Like, the, it's the same on each one. So Chrome is recommended. I do wonder, what do the banners look like right now? Rosetta's on banner, Lee is on banner, and Crimson Abyss. So it looks like, I don't think Bembenata's even on banner right now. So she's just entirely a free, oh no, it looks, oh no, she is, she is. They put her in the basic one, but she's 100% rate up. So you can pull for her if you want to. Is this Glory? That's Arclight. Okay, so I'm switching to Wunsch for target research, which I was on him. And then no new cub this patch either. I guess I could pull. Oh my god, I have so many. I have so many basic construct tickets. Oh my god, where? Well, I don't know where this came from, but uh, let's do a ten pull for one shit. I guess might as well. I mean, he works with Bembenata. Might, might as well see if we can get him. I don't know where else I'm gonna use these pulls. I think we might have. I think we might have done it. I know maybe we didn't. I'm not gonna jump to conclusions. I still don't know entirely how the color system works in this game. I'm not jumping to conclusions. Oh. Arc light shards, okie dokie. I'm pretty sure Cl Chrome Glory was running on the last patch though, because I, I remember pulling for Chrome, I do. But I think it was like a limited banner. So I'm assuming he'll be running again. Nobody move. Oh. Yes! <laughs> One shit comes home! Easy, easy pulls. Hello, Liv. Easy pulls, easy pulls. What do you know? All right, so we got one team member for Bembinata, and I now have to build. I can't do another temple. Um, Who else is oh cheng yu cheng yu was uh, is ice no he's not oh no he is do you want to pull cheng yu because mm, i don't think plume is on here no we got bambinata though <laughs> we got bambinata we got one shit <laughs> not bad not bad i don't really know what to do i guess i now i have to build characters and also get them in the dorms i need to get them in dorms i got weapon choice Oh, but I don't... Oh, I should have saved! Because this Dynamo Greatsword is good for Kamui. But I already got his weapon! Did I? Dynamo Great... Mm, I got that from the anniversary thing! Ah, no! Kamui! <laughs> no! I have Guardian Mount on live already. I don't know what to grab. Bro. Let me just go... Let me, let me look. Let me look. Let me look. Because you can see... Hi, Selka. Where did that weapon thing go? <laughs> I didn't see it at all. Is it in my inventory now? Did I just lose out on the weapon? Oh no. Let me use these cogs. I'm gonna need them. I always need the cogs. There we go. Guardian Mount is good on all of the lives, which I have. Gloom Light is good on Sophia and Lee. Interesting. Magma Pillar is Karanina. Lightning Spark is Nanami. I'm just gonna save that. I'm gonna put the save that for a rainy day. I'll get Lee eventually, probably. Eventually. I have so many boxes just sitting here. Let me open these really quickly or I'm gonna not. Okay, we're vibing. Now we're vibing. 
I, that's what I'm saying. Waterland. It's the best music. It's the best. It is the best lobby track in the entire game. I'm telling y'all. I have two new characters now that I need to do something with. We have one shit and we have Bambinata. Let's do a recommended. Um, I'm gonna set the uh, five star weapon as goal because I don't think there's a way. Oh, yeah, no, switch it. I have Kamui stuff. I just need to level it. Okay, so this is a weird set because it's not like the usual like four and then two, the, the four and the two. It's four in like an upside down T shape and then two on the sides. I guess I had this Jiyuan set part of it as well, too. I don't know where I got it, but I got it somewhere. Where can we get Comet's Edge? Uh, target weapon. We can get Comet's Edge from the recycle shop, which I have no points for. And a small chance from co-op. Uh, what do I want to... Can I recycle anything? I don't think so. Because I only have the one five-star weapon. I was like, can I count? Did I get that right? Yeah, I did. So recycle shop is not happening. It's not... Can we get it anywhere else? No, it's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. All right, I think we're gonna have to give up on her weapon and just use the four star for now. Wanshu, then. Mr. Wanshu, where are you? Same thing with you. What was recommended for you? Da Vinci and Guinevere. All right, let's see what we can do because I'm not gonna set it you as the thing. Da Vinci, Da Vinci. I do have quite a few. I'm just gonna uh, slap something together for him, I think. I'm gonna equip all the Da Vinci ones that I have, which I might have a full Da Vinci set. Don't know when I got that, but... Oh no, I totally have a full Da Vinci set. It might just be easier for me to put full Da Vinci on him. Uh, Guinevere, Guinevere, Guinevere. I have a, cause I can't, I can't do a three and a six, but we could do a one and a four, which is similar to what Bambinata is running. Oh, one and four. Um, I was thinking one and three for some reason. Um, I guess that works. Bambinata is running one and four is an off P is like the not main set i could do a full six set but i'm just gonna run this on him it works it does the job i'm surprised i had what i needed quite frankly let's level bambinata all 11 exp pods bring her up to 43 there she go i did say if i got bambinata i would consider getting her um oh i did say i would consider getting her coding where's the coatings the swan lake coating because i love it so much how much is coatings it's on sale do i want to spend money 30 percent off i could get it no, I'm going to refrain. I'm going to... I have 27 days. I'm going to refrain. But I do think it's really good. I think it's really good. We got her, though. Still working on this memory set. But we'll get there. I'm just surprised I got all the stuff for one shit. I think I can also evolve Liv really quickly. Hold on. Let me just do that. Not bad. N not bad for a patch video. Not bad at all. I've spent none of my black cards. Like, this is pretty good. There's just one thing left that we have to do. And that is get these little scrunklies into the dorm. We got to get them in the dorm. This is very important to me. I also need to collect my chores because it's been half an hour. All right, I need to buy a new dorm. We need to go buy a residence permit for these two. Purchase and unlock a dorm. Insufficient items. What do I need? I need five residence permits. A little bit stupid. I have enough for it, though. Easy. Unlock. Dorm seven is unlocked because I accidentally mixed up the order. But let's put in the scrunklies. Our members are Wanshi, Bambinata, and I think everyone else is in a dorm. I think everyone is in a dorm. Yes, confirm. So it's just the two of them for now, but hopefully we will get a chrome to throw in there eventually. I don't know what I'm gonna decorate this one as because I'm running out of sets that are still available, but it's a work in progress. It is surely a work in progress. But the scrunklies are here, they're in a dorm, and that's all that matters. <laughs> and now I get to get all my rewards for upgrading them not as much as I did in a short period of time. All right, we wanna finish this out with, uh, what is it called, Omniframe whatever. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to do it, but we should. What is it called? Operation Uniframe. I'm going to do regular battle. I don't want to even think about the higher one. I don't know. Welcome to Operation Uniframe. I love Operation Uniframe. Yay. Oh my God. Pool Owl, why are you here? I love you. I love you, sweetie. I do. Uh, Uniframe's recommended. Uniframe's recommended. I... Oh, there's trial characters. Oh, that's so much more fun. Look, there's Camo. He's brooding. On second thought, I might make Operation Uniframe its own video because I don't know why I'm like, where, why do we have to use Uniframe? It's called Operation Uniframe, sweaty. <laughs> of course you have to use Uniframes. We'll do one. We'll do one. This video is as long as it is already. We'll do one. All right. Um, let's throw down a team. I'm thinking maybe we do a lightning. Can we get... There's not three lightning. We could do fizz. Lightning. I'm just like, you know, we don't get three lightning. Uh, what about fizz? There's two fizz. Is there not a full team of 
uniframes? Do we just not? Does it not exist? Because it looks like it doesn't exist. No, it doesn't exist. So we just have to kind of go crazy. Who's the most fun? You know, let me do it. Maybe we should do a team of like the ones I don't have. So we do known, we do Chu, and we do Pulau. That could work. At the very least, I kind of know how Pulau works because we did the whole event with her. <laughs> I have no idea how known works. I, I was not even around for that patch and to love her, but don't really know how she works. Let's give it a shot. I don't want to do the trial. I don't. I'm just, I'm giving this a shot for the content. Okay. Didn't even know that's what known sounded like. Okay. Hula goes center. I think that color codes well enough. Who's our leader? Increase fist damage maybe? Do you want to increase attack more or damage? Increase physical damage of all members. Increase attack of all vein. Let's get more attack of all Vanguard uniframes because we have one non fizz damage dealer. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna run in with Pulau. I'm gonna give it a shot. I don't really, I don't do these battle events. And when I do, I regret it. So I'm just kind of throwing this in this video to see if it's even worth my time. It could very well be worth our time. I've used Pulau before. I don't really remember how her kit works, but at the very least, I kind of know how she works because I've we've done this. Get up, get up. She did damage? Bessie barely took any damage. Thinking about switching to Chu, because I know Chu can kind of do some insane damage. But I know how Pulau works better. Oh, there's another opponent. I, I, okay. Hi, Known, tap in. Where does our opponent keep go? Oh my God. Are you a hanged? It's a hanged man. I knew it was a hanged man. I knew that. I'm switching on to Chu. Got it. I feel like I'm better with Chu. <laughs> love her, I love her. Get up, Chu. Why are we struggling so much? Is it because I don't know how to play these characters? Could be. Oh, Chu. Girl, get up. I hate the hanged men, I do. I'm gonna switch to known. I haven't used him yet. Oh, he's fun. Again, satisfying combat. Get up, get up, get up, sweaty. I'm sweaty right now. I'm not sweaty, but I am the sweaty because I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm really just oonga boonga my way through this one. Where'd the hanged man go? Oh my God, there he is. I just want another yellow ping. Can I have a three ping? Can I please have a three ping? I can get pull up ping. I got my three ping, but I also got decimated by the hanged man. So who, who won really? Not me. This is the Operation Uniframe video. I'm not doing this again. <laughs> I might. Oh, wait, you're cool. I know nothing about this character because the I was not playing during... Maybe that was one of the event records I missed. I just realized I wasn't playing during the known patch. That makes sense, actually. Because I was just trying to think about event records I missed. That actually makes a lot of sense. When in doubt, pull out. Bye! Have a great time! <laughs> I forgot that she finishes like that. I love her. My other daughter had pets for pull out. Okay. Well, we survived. Energy supply level. I don't know how this works. I don't know how this works. I'm gonna do the rest of another video, but you know what? I did it here and it's something. I know that there's other things we should be doing, but it's something. Nothing super specific, just a uh, unifower module drops, which is for the event. So just uh, some uniframe stuff. Makes me think maybe we're getting a new uniframe next patch. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Obviously I, I know that you can look up like a timeline, but I don't know. I did one, one, one uniform. Clear a dance in the park. What's a dance in the park? Oh, it's not open yet. Okay. Cause I'm like looking at the uh, patch stuff. Cause there's specific like stuff to do for the patch. And I've done just about everything, but I haven't done circuit connect and I haven't done dance in the park cause they're not available yet. <laughs> Noted. I hit my knee on my desk. All right, let's end with a Bambinata. Or actually usually I end these in the event screen because it's so pretty but we did everything on the list we haven't done a dance in the park or circuit connect like i mentioned in the uh pv reaction i will not be doing a video for circuit connect just because i've done one in the past and it's very much like this is second monitor content this is not main video content so i am not gonna be doing a video for circuit connect just because it's very straightforward even in like the enemies you have i don't think they've changed in a while um so we will not be doing a start connect video not because it's a bad event just because it's very samey all the time a dance in the park i don't know if we'll do because i don't remember what it was but maybe we will and then i know for sure the floating record will there will be a series of videos for that so that's kind of what i'm looking at for this patch not much else similar to what i did with the last patch i had the lithos video and then there was the live outfit coding story event i did videos one video for lithos one and then like three for the live thing so we'll be doing a, a chunk of videos for left unsaid floating record and then possibly like one for a dance in the park maybe an operation uniframe but again that is also an event that is rerun pretty frequently and is very samey so i don't think it needs a video quite frankly i haven't done an operation uniframe full video though 
mainly because it's one of those events that you kind of have to do a little bit of every day and that doesn't really lend itself well to doing it all at once for a video just because it's not really how the event works but we'll see we'll see what dance in the park is if not i will have floating record stuff so we'll, we'll, there will be that and then we get a new patch like i said and like wait a couple of days and you'll get a new one literally next month we get a new patch a month from now we'll literally be in a, a new patch so it doesn't really matter doesn't really matter <laughs> there'll be more content next month all in all, like I said earlier, I think this is a really great patch. Very free to play, friendly, a very new player, light spender. It's like everyone friendly. It literally is everyone friendly. Like, I don't think anyone loses in this patch, quite frankly. I did want to fight the new boss. Oh, I wanted to fight the new boss. We'll have to do, we will do that in the event record most likely. So I'm going to put that off because that'll probably be there. But I'm excited to fight the new boss. I'm excited to fight the new opponents and the new boss because I think they're really cool. We did fight the new opponents, but the new boss we haven't gotten to yet. I'm hoping that isn't the event record because I really want to fight it. It's really cool looking, but that is going to be it for this video today. If you like this video, make sure to give me a like down below as well as subscribe for more and click the little notification bell to be notified when I upload new ones. As always, I hope everyone Hatter is having a super lovely day wherever you are in the world, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!